Hello guys, uh, welcome to this to today's tutorial. My name is Uke Emanuel. So today I will teach you guys on how to implement Opage uh, checkout, how to implement um, OP payment method so into your website. So in OP, if you go to as you can see, if you go to documentation.opcheckout.com, you will find um, methods to integrate OP. So you find the Express checkout and you find the server integration. So we are going to use the Express checkout. So I click on that. Then if you go to the Express checkout, you see Express checkout, then introduction. Express checkout introduction is the most seamless and frictionless method for you to join OP community. OP introduces OP cashier, a comprehensive dropping payments flow designed to drive the most seamless and hassle-free payment integration so now let's move into the main stuff so if you can see look at the flow charts so uh your client your customer or anybody triggers the cashier api then it redirects to the client to the client it redirects clients to cashier URL. sorry for that then after everything they call back you will have a callback function that will redirect the user back to your website. So now, blah, blah, blah. Then let's go for the OP cashier. So to implement the OP cashier, you just click on the OP cashier section. So once we come to this page, we just go down. So as you can see, this is how it will look. So once a, a, a client or a customer visits your website, picks one or two products, he or she can check out via the OP Express uh, payments gateway or payment method so now now so let's go to so okay let me scroll down a little bit so for for you to call the api for you to be able to call the op express api so we have like like three to four languages that you can be able to that whenever you do that so we have php we have java we have core or CURL, we have JavaScript. So today we'll be using PHP to call the uh, OP Merchant API. So as you can see, this is it. This is how it looks like. So now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to OP, opcheckout.com. Then we create an account. So as you can see, I'm inside opcheckout.com. So this, this is a test, I'm in test mode. If you can see, I'm actually in test mode. So now let's go to the creation of the let's go. Let's okay. Let me just take you guys to my code. So now I have two pages. So I have op op dot php and I have op front dot php. So basically, I'm doing this on a C panel. So now. Let's go back to the OP documentation. So now as you can see, what we do here, if you look at this, sec this section, you can see, you can see clearly we have class cashier. So everything is uh, object and classes. Then let's just go to my code. So as you can see, we have class, class cashier, cashier create controller, then here in this section we have private private we have private everything is in private instead of public so this private we have it as variable public key then private merchant id private url then we now have a public function underscore underscore construct so now this is less or greater than merchant id which is equal to your merchant and merchant id so where you can easily get your merchant id in the uh op op in the op checkout so once you create your your test account you can find your merchant id so this is where you can find it all you just need to go to is click on account details you see your merchant merchant id over there then this then we go back to the op.php so um let's go to so after that after you have imputed your merchant id your public key this is a test public key then your url the url the test url so as you can see this test api.checkout.com so now 
uh, we can now go over to to the public function public function test so here we have our country nigeria ng ng then we have our, our reference so now this reference i had to change that i had to change the reference which was used uh, in the documentation so if you can see in this documentation in php document documentation so there was a reference number here so now this look at the reference number that was there so i had to use um i had to use php time and rand random to generate random uh reference number from 1000 to to 9999 so it generates that automatically for me then i now imputed um an amount then my callback url return url so as you can see this is my return url so let me go to op front so this is my op front so now this require under so this is my op op front as you can see so i had some i imputed some i wrote some error reporting codes in case if the code failed failed to run maybe uh there was an error in the code so this will just uh, this will give me the error message this code up here this ob underscore starts then and then i now started my section down here then i had to require i had to include or let me say require once so require underscore once op dot php so i have to i have to um require this class over here so i have to include it to this php page so as you can see um so if you can if you if you if you are familiar with, with php you know that uh this this um this statement here this if dollar underscore server request underscore method equal to equal to post so once a client's request once a client request is sent so a new a new class is being um cashier equal to new uh equal to new so it's calling back it's calling this function it's calling this uh class this class cashier create controller so it's calling it into this this function is calling it into this function so now as you can see then then show api response so in case if the um if you try to call the api maybe something happened so this this is a debugging code to show the api response maybe uh if there if there was an error then this this statement here check if you are existing the response so it checks if the url is responding then as you can see then if the url is not responding it gives an error echo your error your it gives an error then the error message then or else this is this is an um else if or should i say how do i put it so this has this has like three three conditions so now after the the else we have an another else which now says fail to communicate with op api so if you if you can see here then this is just a basic um script then pay with op then form method equal to post so when you run that when you now come over here let me refresh my let me refresh my browser so once i refresh that once i refresh my browser once it's done loading, I click on pay now. So this is a sandbox environment. So I just click on allow. So from here, this 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 is actually the um the checkout. So you can pay with you can pay with your bank card, your OP wallet, your OP QR, your bank, you can pay with bank transfer bank ussd and so forth so over here just like it's just a test a test payment so i hope you guys learned a lot through this thank you for watching and subscribe for more for more i will be dropping more videos for you guys